Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday morning, May 22nd. I'm James Spann. Have some rain around today, some thunder, but uh, severe weather problems on an organized basis not really expected. Let's check some of the Skycam shots around the network early this morning at 5 a.m. That's our uh, Coleman Skycam. Down below US 278, look at downtown Jasper from the King Building and downtown Haleyville in Winston County. Looks like they've had some rain this morning. Uh, Our trough is moving on, somewhat negative tilt, but it's starting to weaken. It will be uh, lifting north of here, but clearly it's going to set the stage for a few showers and storms around today. Let's peek at the radar at uh, 501 early this morning and again you can see those uh, showers up around Haleyville producing the uh, wet streets there it's raining in Hamilton at that hour uh, back down into uh, the the golden triangle of northeastern Mississippi but all that stuff's been weakening steadily overnight pretty uh, muggy uh, at the start of the day we've got upper 60s and low 70s at uh, daybreak Birmingham sitting at 71 will be in the 80s today but around the nation, noticeably colder behind the storm system. Readings are in the 40s over Colorado, Wyoming, and by golly, we are going to see a refreshing air mass by Friday in the beginning of the Memorial Day weekend. Won't be using that word too much for the next three months. Refreshing is that long, hot, steamy, humid summer is just about here. Severe weather potential today. The uh, guys at SPC have the uh, slight risk down into extreme northeast Alabama. It extends north up to the... Uh, Places like Detroit and Buffalo, the higher risk, well to the north of here over Ohio. And we have the uh, low end 5% possibilities down into southeast Louisiana. And uh, the threat it is, is pretty low today. And if we do see any issues, it would be related more than likely to hail and gusty winds. Tomorrow, a, a small slight risk over the Texas panhandle. Day three, which is Friday, no formal risk, just the 5% possibilities over the western high plains. Here's the rain for the next five days. This carries us through Monday morning of next week. This is showing amounts of about one half inch here. And most all of that's going to be today. And it's going to be kind of spotty. Some could see that. Some probably see less than that. Here's the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid at 1 o'clock this afternoon local time. Upper low well to the north around Minneapolis-St. Paul with an extending trough. It's a little negative tilt. We'll go to the high-resolution NAM. This is 5 o'clock this afternoon, local time. Pretty active. You can see showers and storms across the state. Some of the storms could be strong. And again, clearly, we could see one-half inch of rain if you're under one of those heavier downpours. And there could be some hail and maybe gusty winds, but uh, the tornado threat is extremely minimal. Not zero, but extremely minimal, and we'll watch those. Now, tomorrow, a cold front's going to come in here, and the question is, can storms develop on the front? And this is the high-resolution NAM, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening, and we've got a lot of outdoor high school graduations. Well, you can see the NAM is not very bullish on rain here. It, it shows like one storm north of Demopolis, and that's about it, and a couple north of Mobile. But I, we're going to mention isolated storms tomorrow evening, but for most of the state, it sure looks dry. Uh, the statistical probabilities are coming in anywhere from 4 to 20% for any one spot getting a shower. So that's the odds if you like to play the numbers game. Other than that, tomorrow will be partly sunny and pretty warm. We'll be well up in the 80s. But Friday, ooh boy, look at that trough coming in on the east, and uh, that's going to pull in some really nice, refreshing air. The, the GFS has a high of only 64, a fresh north breeze, a cloudless sky. Low humidity. Then that sound good. Saturday, it's going to be a great day. We'll start the weekend uh, with the morning low down there, somewhere between 48 and 52 for most spots. The day Saturday will be gorgeous. Sunny, blue sky, low humidity, low 80s. Sunday, sunny with mid 80s. And the same thing on Monday. If you're beach bound for the Gulf Coast, same thing down there. It looks just gorgeous. Sunny days, fair nights. Doesn't get any better for the kickoff of summer. And Tuesday of next week, we stay dry. Wednesday, got that upper high that's centered on top of us, and that should be a warm and a dry day. High's probably in the 80s. So after uh, really tomorrow, things look very quiet for a while. We'll check the end of the forecast, the 6th of June, D-Day. 
Uh, we're quiet. And again, evidence of tropical mischief in the southeastern Gulf. We've seen that in just about every run. And of course, we know the GFS is famous for the voodoo land mischief that never happens, but just something to watch. It could happen. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 4 o'clock today. And if you can, watch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day and God bless. Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? <laughs> She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day.